This machine is called a box and pan brake. It does not break metal, it bends it. We've got a few important parts. We've got the handles here, uh, two handles, one on each side. This is called the folding blade. It does not cut, it bends. These pieces are called fingers. We've got a little tray that they can store in right here in front. Uh, we, we do need to change these to, to fit whatever it is we're making. We've got different sizes. This big one is a six inch. We've got three inch and a quarter, uh, one inch. I think there's an inch and three quarters. There's several different sizes. It's very important that we make sure the fingers are set correctly. We've got another handle here and you can see these fingers moving. This is called our clamp handle. It clamps and holds our metal down. So we want to make sure it's clamped nice and tight. If, if, if it doesn't clamp tight, if it doesn't feel very hard to clamp, we can tighten the clamping pressure with these two screws. There's one on this side and one over on this side. So if I tighten those, it will make it harder to clamp and it will clamp tighter. So for thin metal, we generally want them screwed all the way down. And then we've got these lock nuts. We can just finger tighten. We don't ever need to tighten those with the wrench. For thicker metal, we would back these out a little bit. The other thing we need to check is that the gap in front of these fingers and between the folding blade, you should be able to see there's a gap. If these fingers stuck out, if I had this finger down here, and it was sticking out like this, when we try and bend, it's gonna ruin your project, it's gonna bend the finger and it can break, uh, it can do some damage to the machine. So it's always a good idea to just double check, put the fingers down and look right in there, make sure they're all even all the way across, okay? So if you do need to make a change to this machine, we need a half inch wrench. The half inch wrench is over in locker number three. These don't need to be super duper tight. Tighten them up a little bit. You don't need to really crank them down. So if to take one off, for example, if I were to take this one off right here, we're gonna loosen that and we can take it out. We can set it down in the tray. And if I wanted to install another one, uh, for example, this one right here, we need to make sure that this rubber piece, it's got this flat back, that rubber piece has to be pointing to the back. Otherwise, the finger will stick out like we were saying we don't want it to. So again, we're going to use that wrench and almost pretty loose. Okay, and it's always easier if we start far, as far as we can to this side and add them this way because if I try and tighten this over here, you'll notice the finger just kind of spins. If we're really careful, we can hold it and tighten it right there, but it's so much easier if we already have a finger installed, we can just put it right next to, just like that, tighten it up. We can just set this wrench behind it for now. We'll probably be using that a fair bit. If it's not there, we should go check in locker number three. Uh, so process here again, we would clamp we would put the piece of metal in this one's very easy to see our line should be Whatever line we scratch should be right at the edge of the fingers here We clamp it we lift the handles both handles Make sure we're using both handles and we bend it as far as we want the bend to go All right, so we can do a 90 degree bend we can do less the farthest we can go would be all the way here and sometimes that's not good enough so let's show you with an actual piece of metal how this works all right so if I had a line I've got a, a dirty line there maybe I'll pretend that's a scratch line if I clamp this in here okay clamp down piece of metal Ooh, something fell piece of metal's tight we can pull this up to 90 degrees well, how do you know if it's 90 degrees? That's a good question. We can eyeball it. We can use one of our little squares or this piece of metal right here. 
is 90 degrees on the back end. So I can just hook this over and we can take a look at this. How's it look? Uh, so it looks like I bent it a little, little too far. Not a problem. Let's clamp it back in. Set the camera back up. So I can clamp it back in. And again, very carefully, I can just pull that out. Okay. If I want to make a hem, we would clamp it. We would bend it as far as it'll go. And that's where it stops. And as you see, it's got a pretty good bend, but it didn't go all the way. Now we would close the fingers. We can set our piece of metal on top of the finger like this and smash it. Return the handle and we've got a decent hem. No sharp edge, twice as thick, so it's stronger. That's what we're going to do on the first step of the joining lab is start a hem and then hook them together. So one other thing to remember with this machine, these handles uh, are heavy. Please don't drop this handle. Don't just let go. It, it bounces. If I very, I'm going to let it drop just a little bit. You can hear it bounce. That's really hard on the machine. Don't do that. Okay. You also want to make sure you've got your blood circle uh, area between you and the next person. This handles down low enough, it can catch you in the kneecap um, if somebody else is standing right here. So uh, watch for pinch points. This whole bar moves. We've got some moving parts here. Obviously the, the underneath the fingers is a clamp, uh, a pinch point. This piece rotates. We've got some pinch points there. Um, I think that's all we need to know for now. So let's get busy.